I know I already said it recently, still never get tired of Skyrim's soundtrack. Apparently there's a mod that came out recently that adds a whole bunch of new songs to Skyrim that all fit in pretty decently with Skyrim's kind of theme and vibe and everything, so I might have to check that out at some point. Right more, we're taking a slight detour. Are we there yet? Almost, almost. And by almost, I mean... Not really. We started here. We're here. Oh, sorry, here. And we need to get... There. So not only are we not hey, even... is that it? Close. We're not even halfway there I'm yet. I'm getting pretty hungry, you know? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll kill something. Like the mood that I'm trying to set. Whatever, Dragonborn. Hey, Barandar. Why don't you go on these adventures? Why don't I turn you into a crazy warrior? Like, I'll train you, Barandar. And then Dragonborn. I'll sit around. What is this place? I'll sit around, and I'll be rich in an emissary, and just do everything from the shadows. Like, let's swap places. And then I can ask you, it's like, hmm, does this one have a crush on Erikmar? I have a gift for you. Yeah, I get presents all the time. Like, from no one ever. Oh, I can give her the rose! Oh. I wanted to give her the dress. <laughs> well, now you have. She's gonna say, you didn't give me anything. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. The rose is I not really for you. Do. The rose is not for you. The rose is for Rose. Oh, good, I still have it. I want to put it in my hair. Sorry, Rickmore. <laughs> oh, the amount of disrespect I have towards her right now. I realize it's probably a little strong. Oh, what can I say? I had my romance. I had my moment. That's all. Cool. Come on, let's check out the view. Also, ever since I uh, <laughs> started the mod oh and my. had the romance with Rose, I've just constantly <laughs> been singing uh, Kissed by a Rose from Seal. I don't know if it ever made it into the videos, but I've, I've been humming it, I've been singing it, just constantly. Whoa. That view is amazing. I knew you'd like it, Rigmore. I have something else for you. The dress? You bought me that dress! Dragonborn, it's beautiful. I'm sorry if the, uh, the neck hole is a little stretched out, or if all of it is a little stretched out. I don't know what happened. I think, uh, the shopkeep tried it on. I got it from the Riften Market, imported from Morrowind, just like you wanted. Let me try it on. I do like that it shows stuff like Rigmore liked that. I do like that a lot. I know, Scarum's, uh... <laughs> Render distance isn't the most beautiful thing, but I still love stuff like, oh, you can see Windhelm from here. I love that you can look across the map and see stuff like that, even if it doesn't render beautifully. And you can see the fort down there. You can see the hot springs. I think people complain about Skyrim, but frankly, I think it is aged pretty damn decently. Like, I think it is aged pretty well. It's eight years old, and when it came out on the 360 PS3, consoles that had half a gig of RAM. In the case of the PS3, it had a quarter gig of RAM and a quarter gig of VRAM. Like, that's what this was running on. They had to make a game that ran on that. That's magic. Why aren't you wearing shoes? You look great. Your dialogue didn't activate, but you look great. I look like... You know, no. Shit. No. Whatever. You don't. Come on. Come 
Come on, Guardian. My hair, duh. It's a style! I look like a... I don't know. An ugly rock demon. I make this dress look ugly. A lot of people pull off the shaved head look. A lot of women pull off the shaved head look. It's coming back into style. Granted, I'm talking IRL, not Tamriel, but you get the idea. You look amazing. Yeah, right. The dress really suits you. Don't you like it? This is crazy. No one gives me presents. I'm gonna sit by the fire a while. Why don't you relax and enjoy the moment? Thank you. Thank you for being my bestest friend. Oh, I see some slight clipping on the arms. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, no, never mind. It's the black trim. For a second, it looked like it was a, a hole in the arms. Or like there was a seam that was missing. I knew you would like the flowers. It's good to see you looking happy, Rickmore. Yeah, I'm glad I came here. <sighs> hey, you okay? Yeah, just a little scared, I guess. It's been a long time. I wonder if she'll even know who I am. Of course she will, Rigmore. We're gonna get her the hell out of there. She was a school teacher, you know? Back then, before all this. She taught me how to read and write. I studied fine arts, poetry, and song. My dad insisted I learn alongside my combat training. He was befitting for a noble child, you see. We even had a family crest. So you had a family name? Yes, but they cast us down. After the arrest, we lost everything. What is your given name, Ribmore? Please, I would love to know. It's Sigun's Dottir. Taken from your mother? To protect me and my mom. One day we'll restore the house of Ragnar and your name, Rigmor, Sigun's Dottir. I... I've written a song for you. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> what if I could just say no? I Obviously I would not say that, that'd be a terrible thing to say during this, but imagine if it was just like, we should keep moving on. She just goes, alright, fuck you too, Dragonborn. I'd love to hear it. Okay. Bear with me. I, I have to do this right. <laughs> One second. I, right. I'm sorry, I... Wait. Where's your horse? Rigmore, that was beautiful. It was amazing. 
I am pleased you like it. Really. I... It was beautiful. Truly, it was. Thank you. Dragonborn, I... Rigmore? Hey, yeah, well, I don't do that too often. <clears throat> you know, but hey, let me know when you're ready to move out. Uh, tough guy, tough guy voice, got it. Tough guy Rigmore, mm. Mm, me. Me tough guy Jorg, mm. Feelings hard, I eat feelings. You got any mead? Rigmore, we'd better be moving on. Sure, I'm ready when you are. We can head, uh, oh, we can head for Northwest Camp, and then move up to Diamond Ridge from there. Okay, let's move on. Oh, and Dragonborn, for what it's worth, thank you. Uh, hello? Oh, you! And Tendril Sethry, is this pure coincidence or something more sinister? Well met, Dragonborn. Fear not. All is about to be revealed. He just opens up his cloak. He's like, oh, I didn't want to see that. Not that reveal. What are you, a thief, a spy, mage, or a disciple even? I am merely a messenger, and I've been sent to help guide you. A messenger for whom, I wonder? As I said, all will be revealed, but I must speak with Rigmore. Rigmore of Bruma, child of the Twilight. I'm sorry, I... who? Take heed. This chapter is coming to a close, and what you seek is not far from here. But what is sought is one and the same as what you will find at Diamond Ridge. You must follow the cairns at dusk or dawn. They will light the way to the heart of a mother's love, and your final destination. Wait, how did you know about... Make haste, my child. Time is running out. Fear not. Dusk and dawn? Dragonborn, it is vital you follow the cairns at twilight. There is a cave that will lead you to the mines. And what will she find at Diamond Ridge, Sethry? She will find her destiny. No, her mom's name is Sigun. Sigun, not destiny. Dusk or dawn? Well, it's a little bit late. Or a little early. Late for dawn, early for dusk. So you can kind of take your pick there. Oh, God. Oh. Follow the torchlit cairns to Diamond Ridge. Well... I'm guessing it is that way. It looks like it's going to be along this path, but we're going to have to wait until dusk in that case. Okay, I feel like if we start out now, we should be fine, because as we get closer, then the, uh, hey. the sun will set and everything. Hey, 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 I'm trying to follow the strange man's orders, okay? I wish he had just given us a map. I wish he had just done that. Because Barandar didn't know about the Cairns, did he now? He was unaware of such information. Because, yeah, it's not... Eh, I mean, it's kind of like dusk. It's dusk adjacent, so... We're just going to keep our eyes out, Rigmore. We're going to do this as best we can. I did manage to stumble upon the Cairns, so I'm just following those right now. And they're... Not, like, right on top of each other. They're decently spaced apart, so... It's not like they just dot the entire landscape, which I like. If they dotted the entire landscape and they were every five feet, that would be a bit much. That would be a bit redundant. Having to try and look ahead and see where you're going, I think, definitely makes more sense. I remember in the original version, this is where the game would crash a bit. And Rigmore was having trouble following, so it do definitely seems a little bit more stable now, which I'm happy to see. Because I remember getting comments about that, about crashes, or Rigmore just not following at all. And I think I even had some problems with that, where I would constantly have to stop and wait 
for her to pop to me, and even then she didn't always uh, pop to immediately. And the pathing feels a little bit better. Like, the uh, ability to get up this way definitely feels a little bit better this time around. There you go, kiddo. Come on. I think we're almost there. Something ominous is certainly looming in the distance right here. Oh, look, it's my favorite Daedric Prince. Defiled. Dragonborn, wait. But still my favorite Daedric Prince. Rigmore, are you ready for this? What is this place? What happened here? It was a shrine to the Daedric Prince Azura, but it has been desecrated. But why? Well, it's almost like some people don't like the Daedra. Crazy, huh? Sethry said all was about to be revealed. Dragonborn, this is scary. Don't be scared. I think you've just found your guardian angel. Azura. Well, I hope so. It means it's not me. Rigmore, my child, come closer and place your hands on the altar so I can join with you and touch your soul. D do you want to do that? Y you sure about this? That's a very, very sudden thing to ask of someone. Let me touch your soul. Ah, yes. My wonderful, beautiful child. Daughter of Azura. I... I don't understand. What? Ever since you were born, I have been watching over you. Even when you were a little girl, I have influenced the destinies of many. And entwined them to bring you here, to this moment. But why me? I didn't ask for any of this. I I'm scared. Don't cry, my child. Don't be afraid. My guardian has helped to protect you well up to now. But mortal danger awaits you both at Diamond Ridge. The forces of darkness conspire to wreak havoc at the behest of an usurper. From oblivion comes a new danger. One who seeks to reside in the world of mortals. The entity has not shown itself yet. But it cannot enter this world until a new order is established throughout Tamriel. But surely you must have powers. What could I possibly do? Oh, Rigmore, pure of heart, you do have something very special. A power no lords or gods could ever hope to wish for. You are blessed with a mother's love. They had mothers, too. Their mothers probably loved Until them. Until now, I have used all my powers to thwart the forces of darkness and weaken their intentions. I have shielded you from harm, shrouded you in my robes, and delivered you from the abyss. But now, my own powers are weakening. I will eventually fade into the void. But why? Black arts are being used by necromancers to fuse Daedric steel with black diamonds. Black diamonds are the essence of my heart which connects me to this world and the next. They are attempting to forge armor and weapons, and the armor they forge will make them invincible. Then everything will have been for nothing. How can we hope to stop an invincible army? There is a way, right? Is that why I'm here? They are successfully forging armor, and every time they do, it weakens me in this world. 
but they cannot forge the weapons. Their efforts won't work, and they are lost as to why. So there is still hope. Only a daedric weapon forged from my heart can void their invincibility. And it can only be so if the pieces of my heart have something very special. The essence of a mother's love from two sources wrought from bane. One source to fuse it, one source to wield it, and both must be blessed. A mother's love? I... Place your mother's ring and the necklace Cassius Varen gave you on the altar. Now place your sword upon the altar. Of course! I am the goddess Azura, mother of the rose, queen of the night sky, the dusk and dawn. Behold Rigmor of Bruma, protector of the pure of heart, daughter of a mother's love. I am the bane of Azura, the poison chalice of woe, vanquisher of the forces of evil. Behold Rigmor of Bruma, child of the twilight, the chosen champion of Azura. Go, my child. Go quickly and smite the forces of evil with my blessing. What's that stealing? I want it. It's mine. Give it to me. Only the chosen can wield Azura's bane. Never mind. Make sure it never leaves your side. Go with my blessing and my love. May the guardian watch over you. Wait. Don't go. Yeah, come back. Your destiny awaits, my love. Your mother is waiting. I want a nice sword. Azora! Daughter of Azura? Yeah. I would never have believed it. Let's go find this cave entrance. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. The funny thing is, and I was looking at the damage on that sword when it was on the altar. Someone had mentioned to me that the sword was nerfed from the original version of the mod. Which I find... ironic, almost. The sword's damage was nerfed, but the combat encounters were not rebalanced at all. Or at least they certainly don't feel rebalanced. And I remember this section in particular, the section coming up in Diamond Ridge Mine, was particularly nasty. Particularly rough. So... Oh, wish me luck. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm a little worried about this. You ready for this? Oh, I have a gift for you. No, I'm not giving you the rose. It's mine. Okay, Rigmore, are you ready for this? Yeah, I... I think I'm ready. Okay, stick close to me, okay? Don't go wandering off now. Okay. I need you to focus, like you said you would. Okay. Focus. Promise me, Rigmore. I... I just shout her off the cliff. Promise me! I promise. Okay, a little bit more enthusiasm, please. What was that, maggot? Recruit? Rigmore, drop and give me 8,000 divines. Okay, I promise. Focus. <laughs> whatever. No, 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 no. No, focus, not whatever. Focus. Come on. Daughter of Azura. That's actually quite cute. I like, uh, Azura saying, it's like, I have guarded you. It's like, you did not guard her very well. Oh, I have guarded you and protected you. It's like, hmm, I'm not so Dragon sure about that one. Trust me. You, you sure about this? I'm, re I'm ready to shout. You give the word, I'll murder it. Go on. Do your bear thing. Ugh. 
Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, so much for that then, huh? Do you want me to fight it? What? Nothing. Uh. Okay, what's it? What is it with you and Bear? Is the bear attacked you and now you're just friends? I'm not sure. I just know. You know. It did not work. It did not work properly. Hi. Can I go now? <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna bite you. I'm gonna hit you with my sword. Oh, but now we have a mutual respect for one another. I guess. No, it followed us. God damn it. See? Should I kill it? Do you want me to do something? Don't tell me it's set to essential. Okay, come on. Quick. Before it follows us again. Quick. We gotta get away. Can I even kill it? Can I even? No. There's no health bar. Alright. Rigmore, come on. We're gonna leave the bear alone. Um, you know what, actually? Let me load the autosave, see if we can get that to work properly. Yep, still didn't oh, work. Yeah. Okay, nope. No, not working. Yeah. Not working. <laughs> what is it with you and bears? This one doesn't like you. I'm not sure. I just know. You know. Okay, sure. Come on. We gotta go. It's probably gonna follow us. It's fine. We're just gonna leave. If I could kill it, I would kill it. And it's back. Nope, we're more. Come on. Is it gonna follow us this entire time? Oh, yeah. That'll be a pain in the ass. Okay, come on. Come on. Just ignore the bear. We've got enough to worry about without dealing with the bear. Like, this is the real, real section that I remember Did there being- I ever tell you I hate caves? This is the real section of the mod that I remember was not fun, balancing-wise. I remember this part was one of my least favorite parts. So I am... <laughs> I am nervous. I am cautiously optimistic that things will be better, but I am still nervous. Okay, the bear's not following. If the bear follows us in here, I'm not going to be happy. If the bear follows us, follows us through, I don't know what we're going to do. There's hey, no bear! Again. Everything seems covered with some kind of black taint. Ugh. Get ready. Trouble. I was really hoping it would just be the bear in here. I was really, really hoping it would just be the bear. Because I think that would have been very funny. It's not letting me shout. Oh, I gotta heal up. Okay, good. At least Rigmore's able to deal some good damage with her sword now with Azura's Bane. Oh, yeah. I also kind of wish there were smaller spiders in Skyrim. Like, I'm glad that some mods will add smaller spiders because... I don't know, it just makes sense to me. You would have a mix. You'd have some big spiders, you'd have some small ones. There's something satisfying just by swinging and killing the small ones, the same way that it's nice to go and just, like, kill some tiny skeevers. Oh, is this the way? Oh no, is that a dead end? Yeah, it is. Well, I tried. Watch it. You watch it. I'm leading the pack here. 
Hey, hey, tiny skeevers, like I told you. I smell trouble. Potion of healing, horker loaf, cabbage soup, ooh. We are eating well tonight, Rigmore. We are eating very, very well tonight. Well, I am. Find your own food. Ugh. All these <laughs> dead bodies. Oh, hi there. There we go. Now I can shout. I missed that time. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, there's another big spider. More thank you. Oh, another one. I want the tiny ones back. There they are. I missed you guys. Okay, sometimes I can't tell which ones are alive and which ones aren't. They all look the same. I kind of want to just uh, step on them. Like, if I could just jump on them and kill them that way. Oh, God, that's a many, many spiders. Oh, it's a lot of spiders. Oh, if you hate spiders, you're gonna hate this. Oh, am I out of... S no, it's just, uh... I am out of... Okay, I'm out of some of my potions. I... Oh, I have a lot of potions of plentiful healing. And not much else. So that's gonna be a pain. I got a little turned around in here. But I think... I th oh, yep, yeah, nope, going the right way. Going the right way. Video game logic. If there's enemies, you're going the right way. Watch the floor for traps. You watch the floor for traps. <laughs> I say I'm leading. And then I tell her who's behind me to watch for traps. Never said I was a good leader. Just said I was leading. Jesus, that's a lot. Alright, alright. Little excessive. Little excessive. Fortunately, it killed all of them. All the ones that got hit by Foos, dead. Okay, yeah, okay. I get it, you like rats. I understand. I also just like to think that uh, the black taint is actually just an oil spill. Like all the skeevers and spiders, just boom, oil spill. And that's all this is. You like how they're all just kind of sitting and waiting for me? They're not attacking right now. Where's Ripmore to help with this? I could use the assistance right now. Oh, where did they go? Did you see that? They just went flying. I didn't do that, did I? I don't think so, at least. Oh, three trolls. Oh, and no infinite pit to knock them into. Oh, Rigmore, get your sword ready. I hate trolls. I absolutely hate trolls. Wait, where did she go? Where did she go? Yeah, that's right, you fight him, you fight him. Okay, easy target, easy target, you get him. The one benefit is right now they're not coming to us at all. I probably shouldn't get closer and jinx it. Like, I probably shouldn't be moving closer to him and yeah. jinx this and then get him to come to me. Oh, but he's also just, he's regenerating health faster than I can hurt him with my bow, so... Oh, good. If I just keep him staggered. Good. Good, good. That wasn't bad. That was fine. Oh, potion. 
Potion. Nope. Cure poison. Ooh, vigorous healing. Cure disease. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, uh, cure disease. Vigorous magicka. Coin purse. Come on. Anything else here? Oh, there we go. Flower. That's what I needed. Floor for traps. Rigmore, I'm gonna bake a beautiful snowberry crostata later. Just you watch. <laughs>